What if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? Let's imagine something absurd. One day, without warning, the Earth just stops. No slowing down, no warning tremors, just boom, motionless. What happens next? Well, the first second would be the worst second in human history. You see, the Earth's surface is spinning incredibly fast, about 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator. If it suddenly stopped, everything not nailed to bedrock would keep moving at that speed. That includes you, your house, your dog, and every ocean on the planet. So, if you're standing on the beach when this happens, congratulations. You've just been launched eastward at the speed of sound. Airplanes would tear apart, cars would tumble for miles, and entire cities would be flattened by supersonic winds. The oceans would pile up into enormous tsunamis that sweep across continents. Within minutes, most of civilization would be now, well, let's say redistributed. Now, let's say you somehow survived. Maybe you were in a deep underground bunker or, I don't know, inside a very lucky elevator. You crawl out and the world looks strange. The atmosphere didn't stop with the planet. So for the next few hours, hurricane force winds would rip across the surface until friction finally brought the air to rest. After that, Everything changes. A lot. The day-night cycle would end. Without rotation, a day would last an entire year. One half of the Earth would be stuck facing the sun all the time, slowly heating up to over 100 degrees Celsius. The other half would be in eternal darkness, dropping below negative 100. The only survivable zone might be the twilight strip, the narrow region between day and night, where temperatures hover somewhere between lava and frozen death. Plants would die, weather systems would collapse, and the oceans would start migrating toward the poles due to gravity's new balance. You see, right now, Earth's spin makes it slightly wider at the equator, kind of like a squished ball. Without rotation, gravity would pull the oceans toward the poles, drowning northern and southern regions while exposing land around the equator. So, Canada and Antarctica, underwater. The Sahara Desert, new beachfront property. But even if humans could somehow survive those first few hours, the long-term effects would be brutal. The magnetic field, generated by the Earth's spinning core, would weaken over time. Without it, we'd lose our protection from cosmic radiation and solar winds. In other words, the sky would slowly start to glow. Not with sunsets, but with deadly particles frying our DNA. Okay, but let's say humans are stubborn. And we are. And we build underground cities in that twilight zone. Could we make it work? Maybe. We'd have permanent solar power on the day side and endless frozen resources on the night side. Scientists could even build massive trains traveling around the planet to stay in the eternal sunset, chasing comfort. Of course, that's assuming we survive the earthquakes that follow. Stopping Earth's spin would unleash unimaginable tectonic stress. Every plate, every fault line, every volcano, all of them would erupt, shift, or collapse. The crust would shatter like glass. And then there's the moon. The moon orbits the Earth based on our planet's rotation and gravity. If we stopped spinning, the moon's orbit would eventually shift too. Over thousands of years, it might drift away or crash into us. Either way, bad news for the survivors and for the moon. But maybe there's a bright side? Technically, with no rotation, there would be no more hurricanes since those are powered by the Coriolis effect, a result of the planet spinning. So if you're tired of storm warnings, congrats, I guess. In reality, the only way Earth could stop spinning is through something unbelievably catastrophic. Like a collision with another planet. And if that happened, the impact would likely vaporize both worlds. So, worrying about this happening naturally isn't necessary. Still, it's an interesting thought experiment. It reminds us that everything, from our 24-hour days to the gentle winds and tides, Depends on this giant rock quietly spinning beneath our feet. So next time you complain about Mondays, just remember, 
The only reason Monday exists is because the Earth didn't suddenly stop. 